We enter Giant Land. Back to Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom. And once again, the help and support center keeps opening on me. I forget if this is a red level, though. If it is, though, it shouldn't be a problem. Because, as it turned out, that one level was a yellow level, even though it turned into a red. I figure, because of that, I did get all the exits. So, wow. That is a big piranha plant right there. Simply made of the chomper tiles, but decorative nonetheless. Not easy to create a giant piranha plant sprite, though, is it? At least back then, in that era. I suppose sprites were borrowed from Luigi's Adventure, Luigi's Adventure Overseas Edition for this. I wouldn't be surprised. It still works well. And because of that... Wait, what's this pipe for here? Well, we'll never know. Do not spin jump on that Koopa, though. Because I want to power up. Good. Alright. Because there wouldn't have been a power up in that block anyway. However, there is a P-switch for something. Exactly what? Yeah, just the three up. Yeah, not too much. In due time, I will see if it's if it was a red level after all. Ooh. At least that's a horizontal bridge. That one also appears to be a horizontal bridge. This one, on the other hand, is a vertical. And I'll auto-scroll for this. Not comfortable about where I'm gonna jump. Hard to see when you're up there. Oh. Go away. Good. Where is the Yoshi coin counter, anyway? I don't see one here. There's bound to... No, there isn't bound to be a power-up in those blocks. <coughs> hmm. Figures. Nope. But that's a red level. And this will lead to a shocking secret. If you get the secret exit, that is. But not just yet, there will still be some levels before that, and those levels will be clean. The one at the end, on the other hand, is not. Thankfully, I'm not even going to take a chance at doing that unclean one. And he thinks like me with these lava tiles. There's going to be a key somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. Obviously not like that. Okay. So this is going to be an awkward... an awkward secret exit for me to get. The key is right here, but... I'm going to need to be quick if I want to get the... Actually, no, I don't. The question mark staircase was backwards from what I actually thought it was going to be. Oh, well. <coughs> Let's do the normal exit for Green Isle. Avoid these dino torches and dino rhinos that are following me. Generally a nuisance, are they? <laughs> Dino torches are more of a nuisance than dino rhinos because they're faster, they breathe fire. Although, at least they can be killed by fireballs. Dino rhinos do not. 
Now I could actually use that mushroom. What an interesting bridge here. <coughs> Slow down. Slow ride. Whatever you want to call it. Nice trick. There's a halfway point. Yep. Don't know why I'm still carrying the P-switch. I just feel like it. <laughs> so, the note blocks here are apparently green, but when you jump on them, they turn white. <clears throat> that makes sense because... Eh. Must be like some kind of vegetable. It rots when you jump on it. For some reason, those dino torches disintegrated in this... in this mud stuff. No P-switch anymore. Alright. Give this another shot. Single note blocks are not easy to jump. Don't you just love dying at the exit? Keep on rambling that over and over, but the more that happens, the more I'm going to ramble about that. <coughs> you asked for it. So we get the green aisle too. <coughs> and before that, there's the aisle secret. Well, not before that, but beside that. And it's an auto-scroll level, unfortunately. But I did have the courage to beat this save state list before, so unlike most auto-scroll levels, I find the confidence to do this one again. Extreme kudos. Okay. Looks like that was an easy fire flower. Did I just kill a baseball chuck? And unfortunately, these baseball chucks... They don't seem to be... They don't seem to be phased by fire. Okay. Slow down. The true foe of this world. that back. Okay, that was a chuck. Yep. So I suppose safe stateless was in mind when designing this. Of course, it was not in mind for the, for the hack to be played in this particular order. Hence, some of the difficulty that I had. I'm, I'm not letting you jump or split. I'm just gonna let that happen. What do we have here now? Better not psych myself out here. Or at least be able to keep one power up. No! <sighs> well, I'm keeping the shell, whether you want me to or not. Baseballs all over the place. Surprising uh, how unspecific all over the place can be. Times when you just want to say Sayonara to a level is when you die at the end. 
Thankfully, this was not one of those sayonara moments. At least not yet. And it still wasn't. So the clouds were layer 3 according to this disappearance. Into a Kirby world. <laughs> Now, there are red dots, but these are yellow levels. This is the world of the bad Kirbys. You'll get a surprise if you beat this levels. Good luck. We've got those enemies that are normally supposed to fly. At least I got the auto-scroll level behind me. And that's gonna be quite a run. Obviously, that failed. Not anymore. What's, what do we have here? Are these... No, they're... They are those actual green platforms. Potaboo's coming out of the tree sap, I suppose. Tree sap's probably not green, when you compare it to the leaves, that is. But there's definitely something green about it. Now, I take it that's supposed to be a ball. Doesn't quite look like a ball to me, but I guess we'll live. And now time for some conveyor belt movement. Please make it in time. Yes! <laughs> huh. Alternates between one way or the other. Whew. Okay. Oh, that's a splitting one. Oh well. Probably shouldn't complain too much. My only complaint is that that one level did not have a halfway point. <laughs> but it's behind me, like I said. <clears throat> Kirby's World 2. Huh. So... Huh. I was about to say that those, uh, these enemies are supposed to be Koopas. Obviously not, because that jumping Kirby kind of resembled a Koopa. Probably wasn't, though. Probably something else altogether. And why did the Hammer Brother disappear there? Eh. More splitting Chuck. And at least we got the halfway point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This difficulty here is probably what inspired Mario Gives Up to be a little bit easier. <sighs> get Cypher's probably seen Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom before. A little bit more, and we're good. <clears throat> so many stars. And you'll be lucky we don't need a save state here, because this is apparently a palace of hentai. You don't want to know what hentai is if you don't know already. Welcome to the palace of hentai. This is the reward for beating the Kirby world. Sit back and enjoy, but only for adults. Thankfully, there's a side exit, so you don't actually need to go there. In short, hentai equals porn. That's what I've heard. Which is why I'm not going into the palace of hentai. Except for the front room. <clears throat> 
Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom on 2, unfortunately, does not have a front room. Although you'll probably die just like that because of it. Nah, you won't. Rather, it has a single screen, which you cannot leave, and then it takes you to the Palace of Hentai there. Which, as I have learned the hard way, thankfully I was just squinting at the monitor so I didn't actually see it. And speaking of that, anyone tell me why it looks like those Goombas were moving their eyebrows? Perhaps they're spying on you. And that shouldn't have hurt me. Eh. Well, numbered platforms now. With a bonsai bill to top it off. Yeah. Yeah. Those Goombas were moving their eyebrows a little bit. Spin jump will make it easier here. And their eyes become big whenever you jump on them. Hmm. Guess you could have done that without jumping if you were lucky. I'm gonna get rid of this Buzzy Beetle. Screen scroll over this way. Because... This falls really far. Alright. First try this time. Not last time, though. Thank goodness you can spin jump on those spike tops. Well... May have gone over five levels, but at least I at least for those who are just skipping to the end, I can take the Palace of Hentai out of their mind. Next time, we're taking on Green Isle 3.